What's up guys, Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Fisher & Paykel Solo Mask versus the ResMed P10. Which one is better? This one is newer, but this one is the tried and true classic. What is the better minimal mask? Now I know that these masks also have variants. The Solo comes in a pillow version, which is gonna be slightly closer to the P10. Um, and the P10 comes in a similar variant, I, I could say is the N30, which is very similar to the P10, um, but it has a different, it has a cradle instead of these pillows here. But because the P10 is much more popular, I just thought I'd make this video. And if you want a cradle instead, just pretend I'm talking about the N30 rather than the P10, because the rest of it is very, very similar. Okay, so talking about the Solo first, let's look at the headgear. The headgear of the Solo, in terms of build quality, is excellent. It has a very nice weave here, almost feels like a knit sock or whatever, similar to the P10. Um, but the back of it has these wires or kind of a plastic frame to give more rigidity in the back of the headgear. It has a little more structured feel. It's not stretchy back here, but that's not an issue um, at all uh, because of the front of it, unless I guess you would have a smaller head and this maybe wouldn't be as good, but I have a pretty small head and I don't find any issues with it. I think that this headgear, um, the backing, even though it's a little stiffer, uh, works pretty well and because it's stiff uh, we're going to talk about it's a little bit more stable on your face okay the front of the headgear has a seat belt design so as you move it back and forth there's kind of like these two latches that swivel or not swivel they they go back and forth and kind of lock in place so it kind of works as a seat belt kind of when you pull a seat belt too fast and it jams and then it only feeds back into this seat but you can't pull it back out similar so as you push it in it's has more tension, it's hard to pull back out. You can still pull it back out, right? But if you push it into your nose, it kind of almost locks in place. I really like that about this mask. Um, I think everyone can agree pretty much that the Solo headgear is one of the best headgears made ever for a CPAP mask. And then we got the P10 tried and true elastic, okay? It goes out and there's tension because of just its very nature of it, goes back in. We have a little bit of plastic on the sides here that arc it up around and above the ear. This doesn't have it, but unlike some other Fisher Puckle masks, I don't find any irritation at the ear whatsoever. There's some other masks like the Evora Nasal where it has a more rigid on the side and I feel it on the ear. Solo, not an issue whatsoever. So both don't touch the ear. They're both extremely comfortable on the face. Um, and then we have the back here and it just splays out kind of elastic. There's no extra reinforcement or anything. Uh, it just kind of does that. Um, and then we have one strap here. So as it wears out over time, you can tighten it or loosen it, okay? Every time you wash this mask, you'll probably, you know, have to wash kind of the area around here because little oils and stuff can get in. So you're probably gonna have to adjust this little clip uh, every now and again. Uh, now, in terms of the headgear ergonomics, putting them on the head, which one's better? Well, as you can see with the P10, it's pretty easy. I'll take off my glasses. It's pretty easy because it's obviously so minimal, very elastic, splays out the side there, and it's on my face. Pretty simple, right? But what if you have dexterity issues? What if you have a little arthritis? What if you only have one hand? It is a possibility, or you just want the easy convenience of a one-hand mask. Well, the Solo is amazing for that. It's similar to the Evora Nasal where you can use the baseball cap design. You can't just slap it on your head, but look how easy this is. You take the back here. As you can see, I'm kind of going to grip the back of the head, pull it forward, boom, one hand. There you go. You can adjust the top if you want a little bit. So it's at the top of the head. And one hand is all you need. And then you push this up and it locks in place and it's... Like it's insane how it works. It locks in place, it's sturdy, it's it's just so good. And then to take it off, you just pull it. I know it looks easy. It's easy for my arm to pull it because my arm is, because I'm super, super strong. Um, but if you push it in, like it locks in place so that like a pillow or nothing's gonna move it. You know what I mean? And if it does, you just like tap it and it locks back in place. So you take it off just like that. So because of the one hand nature of the Solo, it's definitely gonna be the better headgear. I think that the headgear is insane. I think it's a marvel of CPAP headgear engineering. It is fantastic. Now going into the front of the cushion, different story, perhaps. So these, this guy here is obviously the more pillow variant. This is a more cradle variant. Like I said, you can have similar options in both. With the cradle variant of the Solo, I find that these stability wings are a little bit too deep for me. I try to use this, the small cushion. Typically, I'm gonna have a smaller nose, but it's too narrow and kind of squishes my nose, so I find the medium bigger. And I did notice on other YouTubers, everyone seems to be sizing up in this mask. There's no real issue in terms of it digging into the corner of my cheek here, um, but when I do tighten it and then like push my head on a pillow, then you can see once I start moving, sleeping, moving around, there is some 
hard plastic digging in there. If you're not like digging your head into a pillow, it's not really an issue. Um, but for me, if you are like, you know, you turn on your stomach or whatever, it, it's almost gonna wake you up or just cause a mark because it's, it's kind of uncomfortable. Oh, it's kind of uncomfortable there. Whereas with the P10 and the N30 as well, there's no, uh, nothing hard plastic around that area. So you can like squish this as much as you want into your nose and there's nothing digging on the side. So in terms of the comfort of the cushion itself, I would say that the P10 is better. And in terms of initial sealing, I would say that the P10 and the N30 are better. Uh, when you just put them on, it just seals nicely versus this guy here. Now I really wanna try the pillow version of this mask because I don't think it has the the wings and I think I would say that the pillow by the looks of it I, I saw it in person and played around with it but I didn't get to try it on uh, the pillow version did seem to be really really good so I think that the pillow version would be better but for now if you're debating this guy here versus a p10 or an m30 I would say that the nasal cushion area is a little more comfortable on the resmed in terms of leak in terms of like leak rate I would say as a dynamic sleeper the solo is better and then as a static sleeper a ResMed is better. The reason why is because if you take the ResMed and because it has the stretchy headgear, like say you twist, you have a dream, whatever. Look look how like little tension I need to pull this, right? So pull it a little bit. The strap stretches and then it moves like out of place, but it doesn't go back in. Like a little another stretch, a little another stretch, like, you know, see, it comes off of my nose. Whereas because this guy locks in with the cable system, right? Push it in, right? If I just tug it, like you can see it come, it, it stays a little at least more on the nose area and then I can push it back just like that. So in terms of like two pulls, um, pillow rolls, rolling around, side sleeping, I would say that the Solo is better because um, there's a little more stability in the mask whereas this guy really just stretches off. But if you're just laying on your back and like sleeping, this guy here is a little lighter weight and a little more comfortable and the pillows provide a better seal. Okay, now in terms of the front, of, in front of the cushion, how do we feel about the tube design? Well, both tubes are like, they don't have a swivel or anything. I like the micro because the micro you can like swivel. Okay, 360 spin. These guys, neither of them have a 360 spin. So both of them build a little bit of tension in the tube there, but they both have a little bit of 360 swivel on the bottom. So the final thing is the diffuser. So up until now, you probably think that I'm leaning towards the Solo because it has the better headgear and very comparable cushion. And I'm also more of a side sleeper. So it'd be geared a little bit more towards me. However, this here is the main flaw of the Solo. These holes here are quite big, bigger than the Micro, bigger than the Evora. Um, and there's no uh, like fabric cushion that you see on like a Bravada or, or an Eson to cover that up. So there is a bit of noise and wind rushing out the front of this mask, okay? Uh, and that is true compared to a P10. If I take an anometer and I, you know, put it on and I measured all the wind speed I could and just found the max wind speed, the max wind speed of the Solo was 3.6-ish meters per second, where this guy here is 1.6 meter per second. And to put that into perspective, um, probably the quietest mask that I've ever tested, I think may, might have been the Eson 2 or the Bravita. That's around 1.5 meters per second, so very close to this. This is, this is also, the P10 is also one of the quietest uh, diffusers and least windy diffusers I've ever tested. And I think I've got up to four or five in terms of wind noise um, meters per second on the ResMed N20. So what I'm basically saying is the Solo is pretty close to one of the windiest masks you can buy on the market, whereas the P10 is pretty close to one of the least windy masks on the market. That being said, the fuser, the holes on the P10 are a lot finer. So if you have COPD or you hate the feeling of trying to exhale, uh, the P10 might not be for you because it definitely is a little bit harder to exhale. I do recommend turning on EPR settings, which is your expiratory pressure relief, which helps. Um, but if you're at a, for me, if you're at a 15 and higher pressure with a P10, I do find that it gets a little bit tricky to um, exhale, especially if it gets dirty in the diffuser here. Uh, below 15, I, with a little like one or two EPR, it's pretty comfortable. Um, so the Solo is actually a lot easier to exhale out of when you have those higher pressures. So a good thing for the diffuser there, easy to exhale out of. Bad news is if you have a spouse and they don't like the wind blowing in their face because it does blow straight out um, and it would be quite annoying for a partner, uh, you might be sleeping solo because of the diffuser. So that's it for the mask review. I hope this helps. I guess I'll give you a quick conclusion. If you're a dynamic sleeper who sleeps uh, on a giant bed with your spouse on the other side of the bed who's not gonna feel the wind, 
Um, it could be an option uh, if you have arthritis or if you have, or if you just want the ease and simplicity of putting it on, or you just roll around, you want a little more security, then the Solo is for you. If you sleep with a partner who's very finicky with the amount of noise blowing in their face, if you don't roll around too much um, and you just want the lightest weight possible mask and you want these cushions here to be you know, sealed fully around the nostril, then the P10 would be your mask because I think it is a nice lighter weight mask. It's a little more simple and the seal is quite good um, and the diffuser is quite good as well. Okay, so that's my conclusion. I hope this helped you in your buying purchase. Let us know your comments. Please subscribe or give us a like on this video. Take care guys.